everyone, John Cunningham Ryan back for the Wexford Library Services and today I'm going to show you how to access our oral history recordings. So as before we go to the Wexford County Council website, wexfordcoco.ie slash libraries. This brings us into the library section and shows all the different services the library provides. So we're going to go into the ebooks and e-resources. This is where most of our online content is available. You can see all the different types of content. And we're going to go down to oral history recordings here. And there were two different projects. We have a general project running. And then last year we ha ran a partnership with the South End Family Resource Centre and recorded um, interviews in regards to the maritime heritage from uh, the south end of the town. That's modern town, William Street direction. But we're just going to go into the oral history project in general. And what this is, it uh, leads us into a collection of oral history interviews uh, by people um, either uh, from Wexford or living in Wexford and working and living and, and carrying on their everyday lives. Um, these are really, really interesting stories. Um, the, most of them talk about their parents and their, their children, um, their their, their lives, their working lives, um, everything really uh, about them. And they may not be 100% historically accurate, but they are these people's stories. And they do give us a unique insight into the lives of people of Wexford. So we just go into here, browse requests and listen, and this will bring us in to the list of all the recordings that are available. Now, you may have seen a previous video that I've done on using uh, Encore, which is the online catalogue. So by clicking here on the Browse, Request or Listen button, it has brought us into Encore and it has been pre-programmed to show us the Wexford oral history recordings. So there's 238 uh, recordings available at the moment. And to refine your search, you can go down on the left hand side and refine your search. So you can see where people, uh, the Wexford copies, you can see what people have spoken about um, and you can see uh, all of the other details here if you wanted to refine them. The best way to do it and the best way to kind of browse is to just click on the more under the tab section. And this is going to bring us up a list of what people have spoken about. So you can see there the 12 people have spoken about fishing three people about retail, three people about teaching, two people about boat building. For me, boat building actually sounds quite interesting. So I'm just going to click on that and apply. So this will bring me up the two interviews. So the two people who have spoken about boat building. So we can see that Joe Byrne spoke about boat building uh, and he was part of the South End Maritime Board History Project and he was interviewed by Angela Young. And then we have Larry Duggan also spoke about boat building and he was interviewed by Alan Maguire. That's Alan Maguire from South East Radio. So I'm going to just check on that one, okay? So by clicking on the name up here, it'll bring me in and it'll show me more details of this interview. So you can see here where there are copies available. So you can see that there's a copy on the shelf in Bunclody and Scorty and Gory. So if you happen to go to one of those libraries, you should be able to find a copy of this recording in CD format on the shelf. Um, you can also see a description there of what Larry has spoken about and you can list, see the list of subjects. So if Larry had a spoken maybe about his school days and about farming and fishing and other things, they would all be listed there as well. So this sounds interesting to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, can I listen to this file? So click to download and listen to this oral history project or recording. I'm going to just click on that link there. And it's going to open up another page. Now I have done another tutorial on how to use Vital, which is Wexford County Council's digital archive. So we've actually been brought in here into vital repository this is our digital archive and this is where this file is saved so if you're actually in vital you could just you could uh, find this also but the easiest way to actually find the oral history recordings is to do so by going to the website and following this link so here we go again this will tell all down here will tell us a bit about um, Larry's interview but it's all fairly similar to what was here 
So I'm just going to go back. So we're in the vital repository and I am going to download this file. Now there's a couple of different ways to download, but I'm just going to download the file individually. So this file is going to start downloading to my computer. Now, most computers, they will probably scan the file first to make sure there isn't any viruses on it, and then it will download the file in total. Um, it, depending on which browser you're using, I'm using uh, Google Chrome at the moment. So you can see down here, look in the very corner down here, you can see that the file is downloading and there's a few seconds left for it to download. If you're using uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer, you would get a message at the center of the screen around here. And then other internet browsers, you might get a message up here um, telling you about the file being downloaded. Now, you might maybe get distracted or you might be looking up another few things on your computer. So um, you might miss these notifications and you might close them down. You might see where they actually are. So I'll just show you another way to actually find them if you, if you missed the little pop-up. So you can click onto your file explorer down here. Or if you're running an older computer, it will be called My Computer rather than File Explorer. And this will bring up all the different folders of your computer. And if you click on Downloads, this will show you um, the different files that are downloading. So there we go, Larry Dogan. Um, so just check back here for a second. We can see it's actually finished. If it was still running with seconds, you, you could still it, you'd see that it was running. And even whilst it would be there, you might not actually be able to click on it and listen to it until it's finished downloading. But uh, that's it, that file has now downloaded to your computer, so you can just click on it and listen to it. It's in an MP3 format, don't get scared about that, that's just the format, but most computers and CD players can actually play that. So that is how you uh, download and would listen to the Oral History Project. Thank you very much for listening to me, I have been John Cunningham Ryan from the Wexford Library Services. Um, please comment below and please share my video. Thank you.